Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Bay and Chill channel. Here we have an unboxing for you guys. It's finally here. I've been seeing this from multiple videos in the past that I have been, uh, you know, going to unbox this pack, this dual pack right here. So finally, here we are. I don't want to keep you guys waiting anymore. This is what the front of the box looks like. This is the back of the box. Since this is a dual pack, it is not going to come with launchers. So be aware of that. If you get these, you're only going to be getting the two spinning tops. Uh, you're going to need to get a launcher from either a starter pack or one of those big box stadium packs that cost around like 40 to $60, depending on which one you get. Uh, this dual pack contains Hydra Kerbius K8 on the left, and on the right is Fierce Basilisk B8. Hydra Kerbius K8 is going to be a balance type bay in core plus mode, and Fierce Basilisk B8 is going to be a stamina type in core plus mode and i'll talk about what that is uh in a couple seconds here is fierce basilisk this pepto bismol pink kind of color with lime green and here is hydra k8 this blue and yellow kind of blade with the silver three-headed dog in the middle okay so this is going to be a left spinning bay fierce basilisk and hydra k8 is going to be a right spinning bay so you're going to get left and right spinning which is awesome and here is going to be the four ways to play, uh, hence the name Quad Strike. In Core Plus mode, it's going to look like that. Core mode is going to look like that. Apex Plus and Apex. So the difference here is that the two bays on the right, the two versions of it is going to be taller. And the two versions on the left are going to be shorter. And on the top here, it has this performance tip. This, this performance tip is going to make it a stamina. And this performance tip here is going to make it an attack. So here we have the stats, 3 for attack, 1 for burst, 5 defense, 3 weight, 9 agility, and 16 stamina, which is super high. And before I go any further, I wanted to give a quick shout out to, uh, let me get my phone real quick. I wanted to give a quick shout out to the 6th Blade Breaker. He said, I'm pretty sure burst means burst resistance because I think Vex Lucius had like one or two on burst and that bay bursts a lot. So what he's referring to there is the burst number right here. So it says burst and it says one. So in past videos, I thought that burst, the, st the stats here, I thought it meant that this bay blade would not be bursting very often. And that if it was up to 10, it means that it would be bursting very often. Uh, turns out, I guess I was wrong. Because I looked on the fan wiki page and it said that if the bay is zero, that means, well, let me explain first. The burst means that it's going to be how often it bursts the opponent's bay. So it does not apply to you bursting yourself. So one here, it means it's not going to be bursting the opponent's bay very often. If it was 10, it would be bursting the opponent's bay very often. So a high attack and a high burst means that it's very strong. It's going to burst the other bay very much. But here... It's very low attack, very low burst, so it's not going to be bursting the opponent's bay very often. What you're looking for is a spin-out finish or a survivor finish since its stamina is so high and the agility is just going to be evading your opponents. Okay, so yeah, thank you for that um, comment because if you hadn't commented that, I probably <laughs> would have kept misinforming people and making that mistake. Okay, so moving on to the other bay, we have Hydra Kerbius K8. And here again, the two uh, on the right here, it's going to be taller. And on the left here, it's going to be shorter, uh, making the points of contacts on the blades different for a different play style. On the top here, indicated in red, it is in balance mode. And down here, the orange indicates it's going to be in stamina mode. So the stats here, we have 6 attack, 0 burst, 11 defense, 7 weight. 2 agility and 11 stamina. So here again we see that burst right there. So it's not going to be they're not you're not going to be seeing very many bursts with these. So what you're looking for is like a spin out finish, a survivor finish from one of these guys. So there goes the chips. Uh right there we have that chip, the layer G03, QD10, TA25-Q for that performance tip, S08 for that performance tip. And there for that bay we have uh Kerbius right there, the chip and the blade. The armor G02, QD06 is the weight disc, TS23-Q, and B08 for that performance tip right there. 
Okay, I've talked long enough. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. I've talked way too long. Let's not make this video any longer than it has to be, yeah? We're going to be doing some test battles. I'll get you guys the QR code. There is an app that you guys can download. And uh, once you get the QR code, you can play with the Beyblades uh, on there. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. There is a different section down here. The two layers will be covered in wax paper. Here's a two weight disc. I'm assuming that the left one correlates with the left and the right one correlates with the right. Let's toss this away. Here is the instructions on how to play. I'll just show you guys real quick and you guys can pause it if you guys want to. These are all the stats. Oops, it's upside down. It tells you how to play and how to put the parts together. These are all the stats for uh, Fierce Basilisk B8 when it's in its four different modes. And here is for, wait, I'm confused. Oh yeah, 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 Fierce Basilisk B8 on the left and Hydra Kerbius on the right right there in core mode and core plus mode. And then over here for Apex and Apex plus mode, Fierce Basilisk B8 on the left and Hydra Kerbius K8 on the right. So those are the different stats. This is the back telling you how to launch and how to play the game. All right. Let's start with the right. Okay, so this is what the layer looks like at first glance. I already forgot his name. I think it was Hydra Kerbius. What do you guys think about that? There is the QR code for the game. Go ahead and snag that. It looks like the letter S, which is awesome. Here is the disc. It looks like the Karma disc from Takara Tomy. We got three stars here. And I think this was spinning right. So the blades will be making contact this way, okay? Here's the performance tip. So this is again a flat tip. Uh, it's, it looks like it's going to be focused more on attack. This is probably the balance type tip that they were mentioning. And if you take that off, you, you twist left, pull it off. This is going to be a stamina tip indicated by the, the point. All right. How to put this in, put the layer in like that. And make sure that it aligns. Since this is a right spinning bay, twist right. There you go. So what do you guys think about this? Hydra Kerbius K8. And look at these point of contacts. We've already seen this layer from Hydra Poseidon. There it looks like they're reusing layers, but that's fine. So three points. It's going to be spinning right. When it spin right, you're not going to be seeing a lot of attack from this side. But once it hits this point, it's going to be dealing quite a bit of damage. But the biggest point is right here where it curves in. It's going to be attacking the bay from this point. It's going to cause a lot of damage. And then these smaller points will be causing a little bit of damage as well. Hitting the bay. Once you get here, it's going to become more defensive. And that big hit right here. And then big strong attacks from this side. Okay. And here, <laughs> wow, look at this. Okay, look at this color scheme, Pepto Bismol. And lime green, this is Fierce Basilisk. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be like two snake heads and some fire or something. What do you guys think about that? Here's the QR code for him. Go ahead and pause if you guys need to. All right. Here is the Forge Disc. This looks like a samurai armor. We've seen this come with uh, a quad drive Beyblade before uh, called Katana Muramasa. And his whole gimmick was that he looked like a samurai. And this thing looks like, you know, the armor of a samurai on the waist. 
So that's pretty cool if you're kind of going for that theme, right? Let's see how many stars we got on it. We got one, two, three stars. Okay. So yeah, the weight's going to be distributed down more. Down. Uh, it looks like it's very similar to tapered. And here's the performance tip. So this is going to be in stamina mode, I believe. So a smaller point means it's going to have more stamina. And this is going to be our attack mode. I think this is based on the Jolt Driver from Takara Tomy or the uh, Spiral Driver. So with all these jagged movements, it's going to be spinning left. So it's going to be... In, in Takara Tomy, the Japanese Beyblade, it's rubber. So it's going to have a lot of grip. But either way, it's plastic. They did have a plastic one called Spiral. And it was decent in attack. We'll see how this does. It should have a lot of movement. It's going to be spinning left again. Let's go ahead and put this in. This is a left spinning bay. I forgot to mention the, the armors here, but they're all plastic anyways. Here, since it's a left spinning, you want to turn this left. It'll lock right in. And the slopes. The slopes here aren't that great. This one's just not that great. Kirby is not that great as well. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get into some test spins and test battles with these two. Actually, you know, I forgot to I forgot to weigh them real quick. I really want to show off how I weigh them. Like my weight machine. So this guy. 48 grams even. 49.37. Okay, so he's a little bit heavier. Uh, I'm betting that it's mostly this disc, the, the metal disc. Alright, sorry about that guys. Now let's really get into those test battles. So like I said, I'm going to be using my string launchers. Let's, la let's launch the stamina one first. So this is going to be uh, Fierce Basilisk in low mode. 3, to 1, let it rip. Okay, um, I guess you could call it a stamina. And then Hydra Kerbius with this tip, the balance tip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yep. So, yeah, more attack oriented. Stamina tip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yep, so the stamina, it will stay more towards the middle. And let's change it into high mode just to see what it looks like. Take off this armor. You're going to want to twist this off. In high mode, you're going to want to put this under. Click that in, put the armor on top, disc, yeah. So that's what it looks like in high mode. Kind of janky, isn't it? And this one, I don't think I used this tip yet, right? This is the attack tip. So let's go ahead and use this attack tip. It should have a, a lot more movement than its other one. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Yep. It's a little bit slower than uh, this tip right here. But I, I guess it'll, do the, it'll get the job done, right? So let's change him into high mode as well. See what it looks like. 
Twist this one right, put it under. Twist it to click in. Armor on top. The forge disc. So this is what it's going to look like in high mode. Very round design. Not going to have that many points of impact, so it'll be a great stamina layer. Maybe not the best for using this tip on attack because it doesn't have very many points of contact. So let's go ahead and duke it out in high mode, and then we'll duke it out in low mode. So I'm going to launch Fierce Basilisk first on the stamina tip, and then... Hydra Kerbius on the balance tip, second. Three, two, one, let it rip. That's a lot of scraping. Okay. Wow, okay, so Hydra Kerbius took that. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Alright, let's change him to Stamina. And then let's change him to Attack. So now we're switching the roles. Before I launched, uh, I launched Fierce Basilisk first. Now I'm going to launch him second. And I'm going to launch Kerbius first. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. <laughs> So again, this is left versus right spinning bay, so there's not going to be that many uh, knockouts. Okay, so Fierce Basilisk won that with the attack tip. Just put them in low mode. Now low mode, you want to put this back on top. Twist it into that click. Put this armor under, click, there you go, and this is left spinning, so twist left. Okay, there it goes, back in low mode, and look, low versus high. There's going to be a difference. Okay, let's change him into low mode, click it out. Take this off on under, put it on top, click it in, armor in, weight disc in, performance tip in. There we go. So now they're both in low mode. Three, two, one, let it rip. <laughs> Okay, who do you think won that? I think Fierce Basilisk won, but you could call it a tie. Let's put the performance tip back on. The balance tip. And the stamina tip. They call it stamina, but it looks like it's more of a balance tip, to be honest. Three, two, one, let it rip. Major scrapage. Okay. So let me know. Which one's your favorite out of these two? What do you guys think about the color schemes, uh, the bay itself, 
and I just dropped them. The bay itself, the performance tip, the weights, and everything. And this is a longer video than what I like. This is my first time opening up a dual pack, so I really want to expedite, expedite this process even faster in my future videos. So go ahead and give me that uh, like, thumbs up, and uh, comment, subscribe if you like the video, obviously, and subscribe for more content. Okay, thank you guys.